Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Yodform with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at yodform.com or log into our uh, existing account. Straight away we can go uh, to our workspace and to the up, uh, upper corner of our screen and click on integrations. Now we want to scroll down to all integrations now search for integration so let's uh, write it down salesforce and start looking for it as you can see there's a salesforce uh, salesforce option and all we have to do is add to form and then log into our salesforce account we can also use help of third party app I choose to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are in here, let's go as well to integrations window, the top corner of our screen, and then to the see all categories on the bottom left part of this pop-up window. Now uh, we can pick from 200 or more apps. So yeah, let's start with the first one we want to integrate and we want to start with the form. The form is in here. Now it's time to pick its counterpart, which will be Salesforce. Straight away, uh, automate.eo is providing us with some popular integrations, uh, which are uh, integrations that uh, are already pre-made uh, And if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, just keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to start with Yacht Form. There's only one option, so it's pretty easy. New Form Entry, for example. So let's scratch this in. And on the opposite side, underneath the Actions, uh, you should go with Salesforce. So as you can see, there's a couple of options. I'm just going with the first one. So you can see how it's done. The last thing we have to do is click on try it now button. We get redirected to uh, the sign up page where you should like log in or register your account at automate.io and you are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use zapier.com, which is a very similar app to automate. We need to create ourselves an account here as well. And let's go to the top left corner and create Zap. Now, uh, it's about, uh, we have to enter the trigger or the trigger app. In our case, it's Yacht Form. Now, there's still only one option for trigger. Continue. Now we have to log in to Yacht Form. Form, uh, as you can see, they have a problem loading the uh, they are loading the uh, uh, they have trouble loading form data but it will be just this one on the second action you should go and enter its counterpart same as at the same as at uh, automate straight away we want to go with salesforce action event let's go with create record continue and now we have to log in to our Salesforce account. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.